So how do I feel now after around eight months of actively trying to destroy this lizard brain, the amygdala? How do I feel? Life is amazing. I, I, I am being honest. I don't hear the, the lizard brain in my mind anymore. There is no clash. The, you know, before there would be a clash where, you know, you should, go, you should go to the gym. You want to make muscle. You've only been four times this week. You should go to, no, 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 don't go. Don't go. It's comfy right now. You're comfy in bed. Let's go play video games. No, don't play video games because you've been playing so much and it's not good for you. Let, go eat the junk food. Make sure you eat it right now because your brother might eat all the food instead. So if you don't eat it, someone else will eat it. No, because you're, you're in a calorie deficit. You're trying to cut and you've been bulking up whilst on this cut. Imagine that being in your mind every day. And now imagine that it's not at all. That when I wake up, it's like there's only one source of thoughts and it's coming from my PFC. That I wake up, yeah, it's, it's the gym day. It's just training day and it's leg day. I don't even debate it. There's no debate. And now it's like I can do so much that it seems ridiculous that I don't just go and train once in the gym upper body. Just today, this this is, I'm gonna be honest, this is not a special day at all. I woke up, I went and trained upper body for about one hour and 10 minutes. I see. I see you. I then put on my gym rings. Let me show you. My gym rings bag, which has got quite a lot of stuff in. This bag weighs at least, let's say five kilograms. That's probably even sugar coating. It's probably a little bit heavier. Five kilograms and then I ran four kilometers with that to my gym ring spot or two kilometers to my gym ring spot. Hit an hour of gym rings training. Here's a few clips as well. We also tried hitting the back lever for the first time and this is what it looked like. It breaks that core. Straight. So bring your upper body a little bit higher up. Your neck and your upper back. Hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold it, 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 Right, yeah, go down, right? Then bring them back up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Man, that is it, that is it, that is it. That is it. That's the line. It's awesome, isn't it? That's the line, that is the line. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, man. That's intense, holy shit. Pretty sick. And then I ran another two kilometers back. This was first thing in the morning. So essentially, I did three training sessions the gym session, the weighted run, and the gym ring session. And I smiled through it. Genuinely, I smiled through it. it it's like, it was obviously tough physically, but honestly, it was, it was pleasant emotionally and psychologically. And this has never been the case before these last few months where I've put all my intention into destroying this weak part of my brain. In a practical sense, that means that I don't think about eating the chocolate. There is literally, two bags full of crisps and chocolate right there. I don't touch them. It, it's not even that, you know, that I've got the willpower. It's like willpower isn't even needed. It's like, imagine willpower being that debate between the PFC and the amygdala and the PFC winning. There is no longer a debate. It is literally just the thought of the, the prefrontal cortex. And honestly, it's barely even the thoughts of the prefrontal cortex. It's like, it's not even in my mind thinking, no, don't eat it because you've got goals. It's like, it's nothing. 
It's just an entity in this world that means nothing to me. How sick is that? As someone, like I wanna be proud of myself here, as someone who has been a binge eater for all of his life, there is the, the stuff that I would binge eat right there and it does nothing to me.